Assassin's Creed 3 short video game review. The Assassins have arrived at yet another exotic location and are pursuing yet another piece of the overall puzzle. This time Desmond takes on the role of the half Native American, half British Connor, who gives us a real proper insight into the culture of the Native American people. We get music, dialogue, you know, subtitled into English, but spoken by Native Americans in their language. And we see their respect for animals, the, the animals that they kill to survive and the like. And it's, it's really a first for the series to really delve into the culture like that. In addition, the sailing aspect is rather well done composed of a lot of elements that gel together very well with you having to watch out for the wind, having to steer clear of rocks and various islands whilst protecting and or fighting off other ships. Now this does more or less end the really positive aspects unfortunately other than the multiplayer which gets some changes and a ton of tiny fixes, most of which are for the better. But the single player, it gets even more excessively streamlined to the point where it's really just dumbed down. You can win any fight, pretty much, most fights, by button mashing. You can play the game with one hand, paying literal attention to it. The the story is clearly the only thing they've really paid attention to. There, there's excessive hand-holding in the thankfully very, fairly varied missions and there's often really only one way to accomplish a mission. And simultaneously there's a ton of new stuff where we don't really get much tutorial stuff. And if you're just getting into this franchise, do not make this your first one. You'll want to master the stuff that is here from the other games before trying to deal with all the new stuff. They do make a few improvements such as making money, you know, earning money is more difficult and there are just yeah various things that are improved. The, the graphics are certainly better, although that's also one of the aspects where they just they push it too far and we can tell exactly where the graphics engine just you know throws his hands into towel in the ring, I quit, can't do this anymore. There are two big cities, New York and Boston, to explore, and the vast frontier with mountains, treetops, you know rivers and just it's so, so there's a lot in that regard, and there's certainly plenty of extra stuff to do, although a lot of it is busy work. But yeah, at the end of the day, just if you already feel like the say the series has gotten stale, the, the elements that, let's be honest, don't change that much from game to game, then stay away from this one. It's only gotten worse. And even if you are a fan of the series, this one might actually be just insufficient to, to really leave you satisfied. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this series, the links are in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.